Mac T Garage here, Mac T, and I am going to be talking about the oil filter cutting tool and what it's all about. Why do I need one? What do I expect to find out of it and things like that? But this is the oil filter cutting tool. We're going to go ahead and review it real quick to see what it does for you and whether or not it's something you even really want to buy. Now this is a brake racing parts oil filter cutting uh, tool and it is model number 701-250 and I bought this because I wanted to open up some oil filters after I use them and also before I use them to test them out and see what they look like on the inside like you see a lot of YouTubers do but this makes it easier than cutting it with a with a grinder or this is just safer folks when you start using power tool on petroleum products and sparks I think you're asking for problems and this does not create fires and that's the best thing about this tool it's all aluminum here you got steel rollers you got a cutting blade right here and then you got a steel shaft that moves up and down just like a pipe cutter and it will cut the outside skin of the oil filter to remove the oil filter cleanly and that is what it does it cuts it very very cleanly like a pipe cutter and then you can just pull it apart and not have a big mess on your hands of grinding shavings and everything else because this is a clean cut it's a very very sharp cut when you get done but it is a clean cut it doesn't damage the filter it doesn't put metal particles into it when you're grinding it open or anything like that I see that being the biggest problem when people cut oil filters, I say, oh, is there any metal? Well, if you use a grinding wheel, you're going to have metal in your filter. It doesn't make any sense. Not one little bit. So this takes away all of that problem by using this tool. And this is what it's for. So you use this to cut oil filters open after they're used, before they're used, whatever you want to do. It's pretty good construction, as you can see. Made very well and uh, very durable very heavy duty tool that will serve you well if you want to cut oil filters open with it so that is definitely the purpose behind it so let's go ahead and show you how it somewhat works I'm not going to cut an oil filter but I'm going to place it in here and show you the motions of what it does now for this example I have this oil filter it goes to a lawnmower uh, but you want to do is you want to take this gasket off if it's a used filter or a new filter or anything because what happens is it turns on here it makes it hard to cut so you take the gasket off of here first discard that then you put this oil filter in here and what it does is it rolls on the rollers here and then you just take and you get this nice and tight against there wherever you want to cut it at and then you just start spinning this thing around and then it will cut the filter open now keep in mind it does do certain sizes and uh, this here filter is almost too small for it in diameter but uh, you got a good example of what it'll do but once you cut through then you're done it'll cut all the way around through the steel cap and then you will have the filter you can pull it open and see what's inside it's a pretty simple process that you can do to check your oil filters but uh, that is what this tool does uh, it's pretty simple I'll have some filters that I'm going to cut open showing how this is used but for uh, right now we're just talking about the tool itself I will show you uh, what's going on inside these filters when I cut them open with this tool later on well folks Mac T at MacTGarage.com I hope you uh, find that little tool review a little bit on the helpful side uh, you, you know you'd do this if you really wanted to because this tool costs about uh, I think is 40 or 40 dollars or so I think is what it costs and uh, it's not something that somebody would do on a whim maybe I don't know but I use it to cut filters open uh, to also make videos and also to check the filter out to see how it did did it collapse what you know that's mostly why people cut them open uh, racers especially to make sure the filter is not collapsing and causing problems or there's heavy metal or something like that in it but anyway this is MAGT and MAGT Garage Tool Review and I want you to take and like and subscribe to this YouTube channel also MAGT Garage 
on Facebook. That's right, join Mac T Garage on Facebook. And remember, my feet hit the floor today, and I'm having a great day. And I want you to have a great day, too. And with that being said, the band of one's going to throw a couple of, I don't know, songs, a couple of notes, whatever it is that he does uh, at you. So you'll enjoy the music at the end. And maybe I'll throw some bonus footage on here for whatever I happen to be doing.